want to talk about the new Apogee MQ500 power meter. Now this power meter is a new release from Apogee and it's designed to more closely measure LED lights, specifically lights we're using on our aquarium. Now PAR is very important and a PAR meter allows you to take measurements to understand how much light is reaching a specific coral. This allows you to make adjustments in either the coral or the lighting to make sure that that coral is happy and grows to its fullest potential. So let's go ahead and break this thing out, get it wet, and we'll show you some PAR readings in the aquarium, what kind of levels we're achieving. All right, now on the sand right in this spot, we're getting about 160, 140, 160 PAR. Move along the sand a little bit. Over here, a little bit brighter, and that's more directly under the LED. We have a reading of about 190 to 220. Now you're gonna see a variance in the PAR readings because that, the water on top with the movement is refracting. And that's the same thing that happens in the ocean. Now, higher up on the Red Dragon, we're seeing a par at 220 to 240. We go over here to the Jedi Mind Trick Monopora, par value about 130 to 150. Let's move up a little above the Red Dragon, par again, 220, around 200, 220. If we move directly under the LED more, this yellow acro, par is jumping up. 250, 260, sometimes almost 300. Up on the shelf here by the ultra blue tenuous, par is 270, 280. Higher above those corals, you'll see it jump to anywhere from 340 to 390. At the surface, right under the LEDs, our peak par looking about 390. 370, 390, maybe just about 400, but not really brighter than that. All right, here we are in the middle part of the aquarium. On the sand bed, out in full light, we're getting a par of about 120, 130. Up by our watermelon millie, that par jumps up to about 150, 170. Same with the grafted cap, around 160, 170. As we come up near a vivid blue tort, our par, value, par value is jumping up about 200 or 220. Pink table there, and here we're under a brace, but also directly under the LED. Here we're at 220, and then right at the surface under the brace, but under the LED, right about 400. So in most areas of our tank, the par ranges from around 100 on the sand to 400 right at the surface. But most of our corals at the top are in the uh, 200 to 220 range and seem to be doing really well. All right, now on the other side of the aquarium, we have an elegance coral here in the sand bed. That spot is reaching par of about 120, 130. Now if we move back under the shade though, par drops all the way down to 15 to 27. We come up on our shelf near our grafted cap, par is 130 to 140. Move over here. Bird of Paradise and the Pectinia, par values 160 to 190. Check out our Space Invader over here. Par is about 105 or so. Very good for the Space Invader, it's been very happy there. Our Blue Acro is getting about 220, 190 to 220. Season's Greetings, Monopora about 150 or so. Our Oregon Tort, one of my favorite corals, gain about 140. Our Ultra Pink Table, about 190. Let's go down here, look at the Bali Slimer. It's par value about 200 to 220. In the back, our Frog Spawn, about 240. Down here, the Northern Lights, Granulosa. A lot less, but that one doesn't need as much light. We gain a par of around 80 to 100. And Monopora Satosa, one of my favorites, is right around 100 or so. So, understanding par values in the tank gives you a great idea on where to place your coral.